hello audience welcome to dawn times so today we will discuss about most important national mcqs of month feb 2023 so in this part i will discuss only 40 mcqs and in the second part i will discuss another 40 mcqs and these mcqs i have been taken from jangir world time magazine so the first one is on December 16, 2022, the Punjab cabinet accorded approval in principle to complete the underground mass transit system for Lahore. So this will be the first underground mass transit system in Pakistan. On 16 December, the federal government appointed Akif Saeed, the chairman of Securities and Exchange Commission of Pakistan. On December 18, the National Assembly Speaker uh, Secretariat declared Shah Mahmood Qureshi of PTI as a parliamentary leader in house in place of Imran Khan. So Shah Mahmood Qureshi appointed as leader of the opposition. On December 18, Ahmad Beg won the Pakistan golf title. And on December 19, Chief Minister Punjab announced the Sutlaj Indus Economic Network, commonly called SIEN project, having worth of 160 billion. And on December 20, England completed a 3-0 whitewash and test series against Pakistan. And on December 21st, the federal government constituted a 14 members committee to take over the, over the working of the PCB with Najam City as its chairman. So nowadays, the chairman of Pakistan cricket board is Najam City. And famous singer Bilkis Khanum, the widow of late sitar player Ustad Rais Khan, passed away on December 21st, 2022. And on December 21st, Abdullah Khan Sumbal was posted as Chief Secretary of the Punjab province. And on December 21st, the federal government appointed Amir Zulfikar Khan, the new IGP of Punjab. And Pakistan first, agriculture-focused, fine tech is lunch and its name is Digit Plus. And on December 21st, the United Nations General Assembly adopted the Pakistan sponsored a resolution on universal realization of the right of the people to self determination. And the first Pakistani ever movie ever shortlisted for the international feature of Oscar, and the movie name is Joyland. So, Joyland is nominated for Oscar. And the current principal secretary of the Prime Minister is Dr. Tawkir Hussain. And on December 25, uh, on 25 December, Pakistan restarted talks with Az Azerbaijan on the letter offer made in 2016 for providing Mogus on credit or fuel on credit. And on December 27, the Higher Education Commission HEC of Pakistan and British Council launched a joint program and it's called Park UK Education Gateway to facilitate education. And in the year 2022, there are total 47 government bill and 15 private bills were passed in the National Assembly of Pakistan.
and on January 1st, Pakistan and India exchanged lists of their nuclear installation, strategic facilities and prisoner in each other custody. And on January 1st, Shabir Iqbal won the title in the CNS Open Golf Championship. The Pakistani movie that has won an award in the category of Best Human Rights Film at the Cannes World Film Festival is and name of movie is The Losing Side. The Losing Side movie documents the issue of forced religious conversion in Sin, Pakistan and it is one of the best movie which have highlighted the issue of minorities in Pakistan, especially in Sindh. On 2nd January, the Central Punjab defeated Balochistan to claim the Pakistan Cup title. So, Central Punjab won the Pakistan Cup title. And on 2nd January, the 40th meeting of the National Security Council concluded with the resolve to show zero tolerance for terrorism and extremism in Pakistan. And on 6 January, the Human Rights Commission of Pakistan announced the inaugural Pakhreddin G. Ibrahim Human Rights Fellowship Program. And on, and on 6 January, the Sen cabinet approved reserving seats for a transgender community in the local councils. And a renowned religious scholar, Maulana Ihtiramul Haq Tanvi, passed away on 8 January. And on 9th January, the International Conference on Climate resistant Pakistan, co-hosted by Pakistan and the United Nations, was held in Geneva, Switzerland. And on 10th January, Chief of Army Staff General Asim Munir paid his first official visit to United Arab Emirates, UAE. And on 10th January, the PSX, Pakistan Stock Exchange Limited, become a signatory to women empowerment, principle to promote increased women participation, gender equality, and adopting gender responsive policies. And the current chairman of Punjab Board of Investment and Trade is Kesar Iqbal and PM Shebaz Sharif had a meeting with UAE President Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan on 12 January 2023 and on 12 January Doltala was granted the status of a Tasil of Rawalpindi. So this is a new Tasil in district Rawalpindi. And on 12th January, Pakistan and Kingdom of Saudi Arabia KSA signed an agreement to finance oil derivatives and having worth up to $1 billion. And on 13 January, Pakistan first electric bus or e bus service was inaugurated in Karachi and it is eco friendly. And on 13 January, New Zealand sealed the three match ODI series against Pakistan and, pa and Pakistan was whitewashed just like England did. On 14 January, the Punjab cabinet conditionally approved the upgrade of Miawali as a division. On 15 January, the much delayed local bodies election were held in
Karachi Sindh. And on 15 January, renowned golfer Shabir Iqbal claimed his 200th national title, a feat never achieved by any golfer in Pakistan history. So Shabir Iqbal is one of the icon in Pakistan as long golfer is concerned. The Canada-based Barrett Gold Corporation formally launched to work on a record project in Balochistan. So the work was started on 15 January. So thanks for watching. It's all for today. Subscribe Dawn Times for more videos and updates. Thank you.